flashlight Something you can ride to and vibe to I'm just giving you the keys to survive Never let society tell you how to begin living your life By following the norm and trends I warn my friends, don't get blinded by the media I'd rather be myself, take flight, gotta speed it on speed dial And meanwhile, my dream right beside me with a smile She like. I love ribs, I love to eat them, I love to cook them, I like to bake them in the oven for an hour and a half to two hours, uh, but they probably won't be using any ovens here in China. Uh, most people, I would say, they have no method of baking in their house. I imagine these ribs are gonna be steamed, um, but I don't really know for sure. I do know that they're brined. They're brined in this special sauce, Liao's sauce, and I don't really know what's in that sauce because it's a secret recipe, a, a secret family recipe. I guess it's kind of like Chengdu's KFC secret herbs and spices recipe. But these ribs are actually available in more than just Chengdu. They're available all across China. Liao started the business back in 1982 and since then I think it's like around 500 locations maybe more it's hard to keep track of these things uh, so it's a big 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 company you should see their fancy website they've got flash on it So this is the these are the ribs here. Uh, this is the five fragrant ones. Oh. So pai gu. Pai gu means rib in Chinese. Uh, pai means like line of, and then gu means bone. So it's like line of bones kind of, or row of bones. Uh, and I mean, what, did I, what can I say? I mean, oh yeah, did I mention I love ribs? So she chopped them up here. I guess I could sit down and do this right. How about right here? This looks good. Ooh, they smell fragrant. I love ribs. Should I tell you I love ribs? That's really good. That's really good. So I had a lot of trouble getting the story. I could only find Chinese information. I had to translate it. The translations weren't that great. But uh, here's kind of the gist of it. Grandpa Liao is on his deathbed. He his last kind of dying wish was to give his grandson something. He gives it to him and either it was a recipe book or it was a map that led to where a recipe book was hidden. I like that story better. Uh, and Liao gets the book, learns the recipe. It's a recipe for brine and um, basically he starts cooking ribs in it. And he does a hell of a job. In 35 years, he's opened up about five hundred shops so these ribs so these ribs are so good uh, so these ribs are so good I think I'm gonna go back and try the other kind they have there so why not it's a beautiful day in Chengdu the city of gastronomy we got 100. Uh, it's okay it's, it's good. more plastic yeah.
So these ones look saucier. I'm not sure what the sauce is, but I had to go back and get some because the first batch was so good. Oh, they're sticky. Mm. So I went back and just had to have more. This time I got the spicy version. Oh, chili peppers in the back of my throat. Yeah, I think I like these better. Oh, that's beautiful. I finished my ribs. They were excellent. I highly recommend that place. If you can get to one, check the notes because I probably said how you can do it. Uh, there's lots of locations around the city, the city or the country. So if you're in China, check it out. Watch me pass this lady. How am I? Oh, I know where I am. This is like, this is like the western, where all the westerners hang out down the street. I don't usually come down here because I'm super cool or because it's, it's far away from my house. Um, thanks for watching. Check out the next episode next week. Same time, Tuesday, 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And remember to subscribe. Remember to hit the bell icon after you subscribe to get yourself notified. But most importantly, you got to, got to remember, when you order ribs, don't get one, get two. Because you know you'll want more of the delicious pie goo.